So to set the scene, it was um, 1988. Uh, we were doing some uh, pre-production work on Last Crusade, and Spielberg invites the family to go see uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, and of course, at the time, the film was revolutionary. It also gave me the idea to have uh, talented actors pretend to talk to cartoon characters. So in the movie, there's um, Toontown, which is full of fantastic characters. Uh, my daughter, Amanda, falls in love with Benny the Cab. She becomes uh, completely fixated on this taxi character. And she asks me, Daddy, why don't you make a movie about that cat? Eight years and um, $80 million later, you have Tri Rush Deppy. Now in this scene, Deppy is actually an uh, animatronic suit worn by midget Tony Cox. Uh, there's a little bit of CG, but the major expressions, the movement, it's all Tony. Uh, you know, Tony's also doing all his own stunts in this scene. Um, we decided to go to the ceiling and just basically chuck a bunch of shit down onto him and uh, edit out whatever worked later on. And, um, you know, as you can hear, Deppy is voiced by rapper, actor, Ice-T. Ice was just uh, a, a joy to work with in a studio, a consummate professional through and through. Uh, we've stayed friends to this day, and um, many members of his posse are actually background characters in Revenge of the Sith. Actually, in the um, Galactic Senate scene, I caught uh, Junebug having sexual intercourse with my daughter. He uh, informed me that he was just taking reparations out of her ass. And, I mean, uh, what could I say? The brothers like him thick. Uh, as you can see, for the special edition, we've changed some elements of the um, hijacker scene. And, you know, I want the fans to really understand me. Um, I love John Lovett and his original performance, but I've, I've had this vision of how hijackers should work for a very long time. The uh, technology has finally caught up with my imagination. There's uh, been a controversy of late, you know, saying that the Disney Pixar movie Cars is a retread, no pun intended of um, Try Rush Deppy. But you know, I'm, I'm good friends with the gang down at Pixar. Uh, they spun off from Lucasfilm. I'm, I'm good friends with John Lasseter. And I mean, you know, um, we all have our influences. I mean, um, as most of you know, Star Wars was based on the Happy Days episode, um, Not With My Sister You Don't, in which, um, you know, Fonzie's nephew Spike takes Joni Cunningham out on a date. Uh, on the other hand, what really puts my beard in the soup, as they say, uh, are those Chevron commercials featuring the talking cars by Yardman Animation. They are uh, pieces of shit, uh, shamelessly stolen, and I hope that uh, Wallace and Gromit get AIDS. Uh, this was actually shot in front of a green screen. A uh, little ILM magic. Uh, fun fact. I actually still have this green screen in my bathroom. You know, sometimes when I hop out of the shower or go to brush my teeth, I like to pretend that I'm somewhere else. So my uh, medicine cabinet is actually an LCD screen, and I can uh, be anywhere I want to be. Uh, ancient Japan or uh, outer space. Uh, girls' high school locker room. Uh, the possibilities are endless. And in the background, you can see uh, Drew Barrymore there doing a fantastic cameo as the um, Statue of Liberty of sorts, wearing that 90-pound uh, robotic suit was a real mental and physical strain on her. So to lighten the mood on set, we'd often uh, play pranks on each other. Uh, one time, she put a rubber spider onto my coffee mug. So in retaliation, I encouraged the uh, costume staff to make the robotic outfit smaller and smaller over the week she worked on the movie, and I uh, convinced her that she was uh, getting really fat. Uh, by Friday, she was vomiting profusely, and uh, afterwards we all had a good chuckle about it. Ooh, uh, sorry, there's this new uh, burrito place down in the valley. Doesn't really uh, agree with me, you know what I mean. You know, sometimes the old lady even calls me her little uh, toot toot machine. Or, you know, uh, it'll be squishy-wishy if it's a uh, wet one. I guess it's just my metabolism now, which is a real shame, because I am a man who enjoys uh, a good chili cheese dog. Sometimes I wonder if my filmmaking career would have been better spent trying to find a uh, cure for farts. You know, this um, great jazzy underscore, of course, is written by uh, John Williams. The uh, swing craze was in full effect. 
uh, the Gap commercials and all that. We had initially um, gone to Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, even to the point of including them as characters in the movie. But uh, then they decided they wanted uh, a lot of money for their uh, likeness rights for the merchandise, the Happy Meal toys, the uh, video game, the uh, Lego Dry Rush Debbie playset. So, uh, in a fit of rage, I uh, walked up to Scott Morris and proceeded to uh, spit a large amount of C-3PO cereal onto his person. And, I mean, it wasn't an old box of C-3PO's. I mean, I have to hand make it myself now. But I, I told him that I bought uh, Carrie Fisher's likeness rights for a uh, Philly cheesesteak and half a bag of blow. And that if he uh, thought that he was half the actor Carrie Fisher was, that he could go eat a bag of baby dicks. I mean, I realize now, in hindsight, that it was a mistake. I went home in tears and immediately called Ice-T, and he gave me some of the best advice of my life. He said, uh, spank the white man on his ass with the whip. The world is filling us, killing us softly, Adolf Gaddafi. Still, real gangsters don't tell what they do, they just do what they got to. And that has stayed with me. And I pass that wisdom down to my kids now.